Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. Can you believe it? We have gone and done it. Over 7,000 hours of playtime on this account. And that doesn't count all the deadman modes. And that doesn't count all the leagues. That counts only in the main game. And that is, that to me, that's so crazy. I, I'm over here smiling, recording this intro for like 15th time because I do not know how to get it quite right. Because this video to me is so, so special. I never thought I would reach the point where I would even have a maxed account on old school RuneScape yet. Here we are. Now, unfortunately, obviously, the account is so old. I didn't even have a YouTube channel back when I started this account. Um, a lot of it was recorded on my very old computer that is no longer recoverable. And quite some clips that I may have recorded for myself are no longer there. However, I am still going to take this video as a reminder as to what we've been through on this beautiful account called Mika DMM, previously called Mika279. And I'm just gonna go through the accomplishments on this account. The video could be long, the video might be short, I've got no idea, but the most important thing is we're done. Trailblazer Leagues come out tomorrow and I'm extremely happy to play that as well. Now with that all being said, if I ever asked for a like on a video, this one would be the one. 7,000 hours? For you, it can only take a couple of seconds to like it. With that being said, let's jump into it. I gotta save me from myself. This emptiness, it hurts like hell. My good intentions let me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and here we have it most of the accomplishments on the account summed up in about seven minutes however there are some unfinished clips that I've never posted before and I want you guys to be able to see what kind of restoration I went through just going through the last rune crafting levels and agility levels and whatnot so I have a couple of clips extra here on the end and on top of that obviously a raw uncut reaction to me finally maxing after well many many hours of playing this game all right it's been a very long time since i started rune crafting and as you can see we have crafted over 228,000 blood runes and that together comes out to be over 91 million in profit but here we have it another level we are now level 98 rune crafting we are almost there three levels to go agility level is almost there i'm basically hopping between afking rune crafting paying runners for rune crafting and doing agility so that's how i'm hopping around skills if you're wondering how much money i have used so far on runners it has been about i'd say around 40 million uh, but the way I see it is I do blood runes, I make money and then I reinvest that money into runners because I want to be done with rune crafting and agility as soon as possible so I can continue playing the game and enjoy what I do. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely burnt but at the same time I'm definitely motivated. It's a weird mix of feelings that I'm experiencing right now. I have 9 days left to max, I think I can easily do it. I'll focus hard on finishing this off before Trailblazer Leagues and uh, yeah, I'll just keep runecrafting. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it has been many many hours of doing agility and we finally have over 3000 hallowed marks. It's been a goal of mine ever since I started doing this. Um, so that means we are gonna finally buy the pet recaller. Anyway, so we are gonna trade our mysterious stranger over here and we are gonna grab ourselves dark acorn for 3000 marks my god okay so as you can see we've been gaining about 80k xp an hour which is very good we are about 11 hours away from agility and i'd say about six hours away from 99 room crafting as well so everything is getting very close but where is my squirrel there it is so finally we have that option right now so this is the regular one okay looks looks like a squirrel it's all good and then if I add the Dark Acorn to it... Bruh. <laughs> Wait. I spent all this time... Getting a squirrel... It doesn't even... What? It doesn't even look good. I mean, I guess it's fine. But I thought it would look like cool. I mean, I guess it's kind of nice. I guess it's kind of nice. Is it worth 3000 marks? Not really, I wouldn't say so, but if we take a look into the collection log, I do believe I am now fully completed with Hallowed Sepulchre. So, boom, boom, there it is, 16 out of 16 items, it's been completed, very happy with that. I'm gonna do a little bit of room crafting now and then just keep on working towards my 99s. Would you look at these stats, three levels away from maxing and agility is almost there. So if you check at my inventory, you'll see it looks a little bit weird. Now, I would usually train all of my agility in Sepulcher. However, when I'm waiting for people to run me essences, I just like to jump some laps in Ardi. And I've jumped over 514 of them recently. I kind of like the addition of this. They added this, I think, fairly recently to where this actually shows you how many times you jumped the specific roof course or whatever but here it is one level closer to being max 98 agility 1.2 million to go that's gonna be rough to get but together we're basically around 2 million experience away from having a maxed account which to me that is huge i never expected to even ever get this close to maxing an old school account and now it's actually within my reach so very happy with that. Don't look at the XP per hour. I know it's pretty bad, but uh, the total XP gained is what actually matters. So, so far 200k XP today. Uh, I don't really care about XP an hour. I never pause it or reset it or anything like that. I just leave my client open, run some laps, and at the end of the day, I like to see how much XP I've gained. But yeah, now it's just the final push. The next clip is basically me getting a 99, I guess. So, uh, pretty excited. Pretty excited to say the least. I'm making one final update before I'm actually maxing. I'll be maxing later on on the live stream in about two to three hours, I'd say. 
and here is the situation right now. I left my runecrafting pretty much one trip away from 99 and uh, I'm about an hour and a little bit away from 99 agility. I ended up not going back to Sepulcher, lost a little bit of motivation after I fully completed the log. If I haven't had the fully completed log, I probably would be doing Sepulcher at the moment, but because I've got it done already, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do some rooftops. Now, another thing worth mentioning is from all the agility grind we've done, we've gotten over 82 million in profit. Uh, and from all the rune crafting grind, we've gotten over 200 and something thousand blood runes. I actually have them in the bank, I should go and bring them out. Um, but I actually lost quite a bit of money because I decided to pay runners. Um, just because I wanted to get rune crafting done faster. Another thing worth mentioning is this Marks of Grace do actually have quite a bit of value. I could trade them in for, well... Over 22 mil, pretty much, um, if I bought Emilace with them. However, I'm not gonna do that because I don't really value money that much. I think getting that many marks of grace is actually much harder than getting 20 mil. If I, if I want to get 20 mil, I do 4 hours of TOB or something and I have it. So I don't think I'll be selling these uh, at all. I, I think I'll just keep them in the bank as a nice little like trophy or a reminder of the agility grind. Um, but let's quickly check how many blood runes exactly we got. Alright, so according to my bank, we've got 230,000 blood runes. So if we price check those, there we go, another 92 million. 93 million in fact. So probably if I combine this 82 with this, I think I more or less broke even with my rune crafting and agility grind. Very happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my agility, turn on the stream, have a party, and be a very happy maxed gamer in the next clip. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been over 200 years, and as soon as I click this gap, I will finally have 99 agility. Um, yeah, this skill sucks, but here we go, we're doing it, we're jumping, and the long wait, man, was this one a long one. All right, here we go. The boys are here. There it is, ladies and the gentlemen. Oh, let's go. 99 agility accomplished on the account. And that is not all. My voice is shaking. I'm so happy. Oh, man. We're going to get the, the cape in a little bit. But that is not it. We still have rune crafting left to go. And we're getting a bond. Let's go. No, I got scammed. All right, here we go. We use this on this. This should give me some experience, hopefully. There we go. 200. Give me 200 more. And here we go. The final... What is this called? Eternal Boots is being created right here. And uh, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, when I press the space bar, it is done. Ladies and gentlemen, 99 rune crafting. And 2,200, Dude, I don't know the numbers, man. 2,207... <laughs> Fuck. Whatever, scuffed clip, dude. It is what it is. There we go. <laughs> we maxed it. We we're done. Oh, I'm so happy. Right, okay. So we've done it. I want to get this cape. I've never had either 99 agility or 99 runecrafting ever on, on runescape. So this is like a, a big thing for me. Um, now, first thing I'll actually do is I'll go in Lumbridge and check the amount of time I have played. Um, but th that's it, I guess. That's so sick! We've done it! 377 million experience. Okay, we're all going to Lumbridge, boys. We're going to Lumbridge first, and then we're going to... Actually, just meet me in Birthrope. We're gonna be in Birthrope in like a second. I'm just checking the time played real quick. Holy moly. You guys are absolute legends. That was a really, really nice wall of text. That That is gonna be in my heart forever. Right, okay, so how do I get to Lumbridge? Yo, you know how long it took me, boys? 303 days, 7 hours, and 36 minutes. I'm not gonna show you how long ago I've arrived, but that is crazy. 303 days. On the account. My god. Alright, let's get the damn cape already, man. I'm so excited. Let me through, man. Nah, what is this scam game, dude? One at a time, fuck it. Give me back the Deadman Road doors. 
<laughs> Max, uh, Avas Max, Mage Max, Infernal or Fire Max. I don't know if I want to make Infernal Max yet. Because I use Infernal when I peek and I don't think I want to, like, uh, risk Infernal Max camp every time. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> this guy's pit, man. Fuck. I'm gonna click this for as long as I need to, but I don't care. I mean, Forrest has a trick up his sleeve. Hold up, hold up. They are not ready for this. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, boom. And boom. See, idiots. Yoink. Let's go. It's Albury in Varok, right? Or that guy or whatever. Oh, don't close the door. Easy. <laughs> you thought Make wanted to close the door, this guy. Yeah, if you guys can't make it in, it is what it is, you know? Sometimes it do be like that. I've never done this, by the way. This is this is cool to me. Climb over, see ya noobs. Look at these plebs. They cannot even get here. I I'll, I'll TP. Where do I TP after? I'll TP somewhere after. Oh my god, we've gone and done it, dude. Let's go. How cool is this, though? How do I even do this? Why is my dad is calling me right now? That's a bad timing, my dad. I'll call him back after the stream. Let's pause the tunes. Here we are, first time ever arriving to our boy Mac. Who do we have here? We have Green Music, Ophelia Prim, and Fitz that made it to an island. Everyone else was left in the dark. We speak to Mac and I'm actually gonna read the conversation. This man glances at you and grunts something unintelligible. Oh, <laughs> what do you have in your sack, my guy? What? Some cape, right? Your cape? What does he... Can I have it? Maybe. Alright, I'm sure I could make it worth your while. How much? How about 2277000 gold? Yes, pay the man. Ladies and gentlemen, this... Is the moment I've been waiting for. A max cape on the account. How sick is that? Oh my god. That's the coolest thing ever. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm actually so happy. There it is ladies and gentlemen. The max cape is on our back. Look at this. Look at this outfit. Oh man. It works so good. I need to make infernal max cape. Which... I will do the time I get the second Infernal Cape, which is probably going to be tomorrow. I also need to buy a couple extra capes. Um, can I have another hood? Oh, no. Wait, what? What do you have in your sack? I guess I need to go through this conversation again. So, I need, what, three? I think I need three, right? So, that's the second one. I just speak to my boy Mac again. Oh, there was some conversation that I just skipped through. Hold up, can I get another one? Or is that, that it? I think I, I, I guess I'll have to slow-mo it and read it again. Um, uh, da -da -da, another who, no. Can I sell, no. What do you have in your sack? Right, another one. Three is all I need. One Ava, one Mage Cape, and one Infernal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's say, can I have it? And we pay the man. So we are 10 million porter. Wise old man says hello. I said, huh, who's there? And wise old man says, is Dionysus here? I'm using my magic to communicate to you. Do not worry. What are you doing in my head? I actually don't have a head, by the way. I just wanted to say congratulations. I've been watching you in your adventures. Very well done. Oh, very well done, Mika. Taking you a while, but I knew you could do it. My boy Hans, it took me 7,000 hours. But you know what? We did it. And Gilinor Guide says, we had potential. I first met you, my compliments on reaching the pinnacle of your achievements. And that's it, I guess. I guess I need to go ahead and combine my capes now. So, wait, how does this even work? I can teleport. Eee, I can teleport everywhere. Crafting guild. Let's go. Right, okay. So first thing we need is, what is it? Assembler. Oh, we have one. Oh, I thought I had no none. So we put Ava's Assembler on one of the Maxcapes. Combine uh, with your Maxcape and lose it. There we go, Assembler Maxcape. And we also need to get a Magic... Wait. The other type of cape? <laughs> the Imbued Zamorak Cape. 
and we put this one on the max cape as well there we go is that it nice okay so we got the imbued zami cape which looks like this it goes actually really really well with um with the black graceful we have a bunch of followers coming in as well and then we have an assembler one uh which is very nice and then we have a regular max one which is really cool. And then Infernal Max is gonna happen tomorrow, I think. Because I'll try to go for another Infernal. Okay, pay the man. Right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. The decision has been made. We are using the Infernal Cape on our Max Cape as well. And we're gonna go for another Infernal Cape for PKing at some point later. But for now, for the ultimate flex. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Infernal Max Cape. I'm telling you, a regular Infernal Cape looks better. Um, but I have to use it for the flex, you know, it has to be done. Um, but there it is. Infernal Max Cape, regular Max Cape, Assembler Max Cape, and what is this? Zamorak Max Cape, I guess? I think I lost the head somewhere. There you go. That's it. Lovely. I think my favorite one is just the regular one. It looks so good. Looks really good with... This is my usual outfit and it looks amazing. So I love it. This is like my new fashion scape thing. Or, or this. Th th this one's even cooler, I think. This one's like the best. Alright, it is well after the max party right now. And I just realized I never got to experience the agility cape perk emote. Or the runecrafting cape emote. Um, so I'm gonna ask him if he's selling the capes of agility. And um, I will afford one. And here we have it. I've never, ever had 99 agility on runescape. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't really go that well with my usual fashion scape, but the emote, you guys have all probably seen it. Um, I'd say w one of the emotes that I genuinely thought I'd never have. And it's pretty cool. You jump up and it's, it's kind of nice. You kind of go out of the screen a little bit. You need to really zoom out to see all of it. I can't even do it again. What? There we go. Very sick. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a runecrafting cape as well. Alright, and here we have it. Our boy, Aubrey in Varrock. Chilling, relaxing, and he has a runecraft cape in stock. Very beautiful. Here it is. Looks gorgeous. Cannot complain. Wow. It's actually so cool. And then the emote, I don't actually know what it is. Oh, I've seen this one actually before. It's so cool. Look at it. It's such a cool emote, actually. Very, very nice. And uh, there we have it. Those are basically all the caves I think I have now. I'll go grab all of them from the bank. And uh, very, very happy. And here we have it. The video ended up being a little bit longer than I originally expected. But you know what? I think this video is so special to me, I want everyone to be able to see my honest reaction, unedited reaction, just the pure happiness I was experiencing, and I still am, I'm very very happy I have completed this goal that I've set many many, I guess, months or even years ago that I didn't even know that, I, that this is actually gonna happen, you know, very very happy with it. Um, if you guys made it this far in the video, consider giving a video a like, consider subscribing, there is going to be a lot of videos in the upcoming days. We're talking, hopefully, every single day during the leagues, at least at the start, I want to post a video. I'll be very active on YouTube again. I have a lot of video ideas planned, so stay tuned. We're going for that 100k, which is another goal that I've been aiming to get for the longest of times. And uh, thank you very much for all the support throughout the years. You guys are the best and uh, I appreciate you for watching this video. Have a good one and stay safe and bye-bye.